if you're already capable, if you're already able to keep the tensions where they should be. What's up? Can you go ahead with this? 今日はデッドリフトで腰を痛める人が意識すべき力の入れ方。見ていきましょう。デッドリフトは腰が痛くなると思っていませんかでもそれは正しく筋肉を使えていないだけかもしれません。今回はそんな人のために床の引き上げを強くする方法をアレクさんが教えてくれています。どんな方法なのでしょうか早速見ていきましょう。どうぞ。Still on the subject of variation exercises, today we're going to talk about the deadlift and the weakness off the floor and how to fix the weakness off the floor. So, the first exercise we're going to show you to fix the weakness off the floor, a great way to do that is to actually enhance the range of motion and、uh, just by stepping on a small platform, usually about one to two inches. In this case, just stepping on a plate that's on the floor to be able to drop lower. To get to the bar. So, m e i l i n is going to get in position. Now, usually when you're weak off the floor, there's a couple things that could happen. Either your quads are weak or your lower back is weak. Now, we're talking about conventional deadlift. The sumo deadlift could be the same thing, but let's just focus right now on this on con- conventional deadlift. So, if the lower back is weak and the quads are weak, we're going to accentuate the, the recruitment of those two muscles by going lower on the,、uh, on the deadlift. So, double overhand since it's light enough. So, pull the slack out of the bar, contract your lats, deep breath through your stomach, and push. That's it. Lock those hips and lock those shoulders. Lats, big air, push your hips. Again, lats, big air, push your hips. Pull the bar back when you start lifting. Pull it back and drive your hips forward. There we go. Beautiful. Now, this is a great exercise to focus on the first part of the movement off the floor. But if you have a hard time keeping the tension on your posterior chain, if there's something off in the starting position that really needs to be assessed, This is probably not the best exercise for you at the moment. This is a great exercise if you're already capable, if you're already able to keep the tensions where they should be hamstrings, posterior chain, glutes, lower back.、Um, but it is a really good exercise if you're able to,、uh, to keep proper tensions. A lot of times, when you see somebody having a hard time getting the bar off the floor, it's because they can't. Put the tensions on their posterior chain so the hamstrings can't, get, can't activate, can't take the load, their glutes can't take the load at the bottom. And, and a, a really good exercise to focus on keeping the tension on the posterior chain is a stiff leg deadlift or a Romanian deadlift. So, mate, why don't you go ahead and grab the bar, get in proper setup. The bar is aligned with midfoot, double overhand again. Okay, so now we're really focusing on the hip. Hinge portion of the movement. So engage your lats. That's it. So, what you do here is you can see here, m e l i t you have to have a little flexion in the knee, but not so straight that your joint is taking the tension. You want the stress to be on the muscle. So, go ahead, m e y Lats tight. There we go. We're going to go down slow. Show that hip hinge. Keeping a neutral spine, the hips are hinging back. Keeping the load on the hamstrings, keeping the tension while you're at the bottom, coming back up, driving your hips into the bar. So there's a lot less knee flexion in this movement, allowing the hamstrings and the glutes to,、uh, to activate and contract a lot more. So this is a great way to enhance、uh, weaknesses off the floor when the hamstrings are the issue. Also, if, you, if you're capable of keeping tension in your, in your hamstrings at a longer range of motion, you could actually do these also in a deficit. So actually, you would step on a, on, a, on a plate again, and instead of just doing a regular deadlift where you flex your knees at the bottom, you would actually keep the stress on the hamstrings again, but for a longer range of motion. Another great exercise, variation exercise, to Um, focus on the weakness off the floor is to actually spend more time in that range of motion, in that portion of the lift. So, off the floor and all the way up to your knees. So, this one is called one and a half reps. So, you would start by doing a half rep, pause at the knees, come back down on the floor, don't release the tension. You keep the tension in your lats, keep it on your hamstrings, your posterior chain, and then from that position, you do a full rep, locking out your shoulders and your hips at the top. 
double overhand. Get your lats engaged, drop your shoulder blades, big air. Half rep to the knees, pause, back down. Keep the tension, full rep, hips. Again, slow, that's it. Lats, big air, half at the knees, hold, down. Keep the tension, full rep. There we go. That's the one and a half reps on the deadlift to fix the weakness off the floor. さあ、いかがでしたでしょうか股関節の可動域を上げる。広背筋を締めてハムストリングスを働かせる。この二つでした。この場合はハムストリングスや広背筋がうまく使えていなくて腰が丸まってしまったり腰が痛くなってしまうことを防いでくれます。ただ僕もそうでしたがもともと広背筋で支えられていない人がいきなり使えるようになるとすごく疲れます。なのでこの方法を行っていくと初めはすごく重量が落ちます。できていた重量ができなくなって嫌になるかもしれないんですが続けることで筋肉でより重い重量を上げることができるようになりますぜひ試してみてくださいみんなはトレーニング前にストレッチやエクササイズを行っていますかコメント欄で教えてください僕はデスクワークなのでハムが固まりやすいので上半身のトレーニングの時でもスティフレッグデッドリフトなどを取り入れています最後まで見ていただいてありがとうございます感想や動画のリクエストチャンネル登録お待ちしてますではまた